everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a vivid sky effect. Now take this image for instance. This sky is a bit bland and needs to be tweaked. Now there are two ways of making a vivid sky effect. There's vibrance and there is a gradient overlay. So I'm going to show you both. So first things first is you want to get your uh, picture into Photoshop that you're going to be working on. Now to do that if you're new to Photoshop you can go to file and open and then select your image wherever you saved it. Now once it's into Photoshop we're going to go and select our image and double click it to make an active layer and then click OK just to take that padlock off and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the little black and white icon right down on the right hand side and then we're going to go and click vibrance now this makes a separate layer which is good and we're going to be playing with the vibrance right here now if we bring this all the way up you can see that the sky is quite vibrant and it brings out all the nice colors in the picture as well now if you bring all the way down you'll see what it started off with and what it can be now that looks perfect now if you want to um, keep it that way that's all well and good but there is another way of doing this is also so if we just hide this layer here go back to our original image and we go and select the magic wand tool now I'm going to go and press the plus button up at the top and we're just going to go and select the sky now we don't want uh, to select the clouds so we're going to go and select the minus one and we're going to take the clouds out and from here we're going to go and right click what we've just selected and go to a layer via copy and then from here we're going to go and change our color so the color that you want to go for is if you've got clouds uh, in your picture we're going to go to the nearest to the clouds which is light and then which I've already selected then select OK and then the background color I'm going to select that now you can go for any color in fact that you want to go for but I've gone for a vivid blue which is the code is 2F85E5 if you can remember that and then click OK now we're going to go and go to the FX button at the bottom right hand side make sure that you've got the sky layer selected and then you're going to go to gradient overlay now from here we're going to go and select the reverse and we're going to go and click the gradient and you'll have in the presets your blue and vivid blue one right here click that one and then click OK and then we're going to change the angle of it, whatever angle uh, that fits your picture. So if we bring that down, just got to play around with this until it looks right. Like that. And then just because it looks a bit fake, we're going to bring down the opacity. like that then click OK now to see the difference here we go obviously I've done this very quick and you're gonna have to pay a lot more attention on the selection tool as I said um, because it does cut out some of the detail on the clouds which is kind of annoying but you can go and select the eraser tool and then just take back some of the clouds some of the detail like that now depending on the way you want to do it um, this way is quite good but I kind of like the vibrance way it's a lot better because then it brings out all of the detail in the thing and even if you didn't want to uh, you know bring out all the detail in here and just the sky for the vibrance layer you can go to the eraser tool and then just take out just erase what you don't want to 
uh, put in the vibrance, which is really quick and easy to do, like that. And it still does the sky. So, depending on the way and what's best works for you, play around with it and uh, make it your own, like I say. And uh, yeah, so that's the tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and please visit my website. And I'll see you next time.